Flyway Mechanic here again. We're diagnosing a check engine light. We got a couple uh, fault codes stored here in the computer. Let's go ahead and see. Got my scan tool hooked up here. Let's see what we got. All right, so we got a P0013 exhaust camshaft position actuator valve solenoid circuit and a P0014 exhaust camshaft position performance and a P0420, which we're not going to look at the P0420 at the moment. We're basically going to focus on these two codes and this little guy here. So um, we're actually working on Equinox on this one. Um, very common problems. I run into these codes all the time. I run into the P0013 and P0014. Basically what it's telling us is the engine is it's not con it should be able to advance and retard the timing and it's not doing it properly. There's some cor correlation issues there and um, this is what controls that. Uh, there's oil that flows through the solenoid valve into the cam actuators that advance and retard the timing. So this little guy here I actually have a um, I have a video that goes into detail on how to test them and clean them, but uh, yeah, I'll leave a link for that right up at the top of the video here. So um, let's go under the hood and I will show you what to check first. And this is a variable valve timing actuator is what they would call it. And this vehicle has two of them, an intake and an exhaust one. So let's go under the hood here and see what we got. All right, so the first thing you want to do, obviously, seeing how these are oil controlled is Make sure the oil's full. So, on this customer's vehicle, it actually is. Looks like it's about a quart. Looks like it's about a quart low. So, um, obviously, the first place to start is going to be by changing the engine oil. In a lot of cases, many cases actually, that's all it takes to get this running properly again. And to get at these cam actuators, this one's an Equinox. You just got to pull this off. I've already loosened these up, but you got a little, you got a clamp. You can loosen with a screwdriver. Anybody can do this at home right down under there where that intake boot is. This a hose clamp type style just like this one up here. Right here, loosen those two up. This pops right off like this. Get that out of the way. This engine cover, then you just gotta pop this engine cover off. You're gonna wanna take your oil cap off. Like that. And this, this just pops off as well. like that and then you have your variable valve timing solenoids right here this is going to be the intake one because it's on the intake side where your intake manifold is and your exhaust one is going to be on the exhaust side the side that your exhaust is on and a lot of times you don't even have to replace these if you change your oil and this code code still comes back these basically just sit right down in there just like this you're going to with a 10 millimeter bolt, you can take that 10 millimeter bolt out, take them out, clean them up with some brake clean or any kind of solvent of your choice. Clean it up, stick it back in, and even while you have it out, you can test these. All you got to do is put power and ground to that connector, and you're going to hear it click. But like I said, I got another video on that you can check out. But um, yeah, you can start by changing oil, take these out, you can clean them, you can test them. Um, if they seem bad, replace them. But relatively easy job, anybody can do at home.